Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Sun and Fun breaks records. Is Oshkosh next? Also, simply extraordinary NASA's Ingenuity Mars helicopter flies, and NX Cub defies the skeptics. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. What a successful Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo. The first major aviation event in over a year is in the books. Though the numbers are still being tabulated, Sun and Fun boss Lights Lean House declared Saturday the best ever for that day and predicted a strong possibility that Sun and Fun 2021 would break all previous records for the week. Based on what we saw, we agree. They had the deck stacked in their favor, though, due to the exciting performances by the Blue Angels in the new Super Hornet, two night air shows, great weather, and a massive pent-up demand on the part of aviators everywhere to get out and celebrate aviation once again after a year of sheltering in place. However, what does this mean for Oshkosh? Yay staffers are reportedly stoked, especially since advanced ticket sales are trending skyward. And some are predicting that Oshkosh 2021 could be the biggest ever, since pent-up demand for Oshkosh can only be even greater. We have calls into Jack Pelton for a podcast interview to get his thoughts on the matter. But early buzz by vendors has several major players who were once on the ropes about Oshkosh attendance doing an about-face and firmly committing to do the show in a big way. So, if you haven't made your reservations for Oshkosh already, you better do it soon, or you may find travel and lodging to be very hard to find. And be sure to read all our coverage of Sun and Fun 2021 at the website you see on your screen. After the break, we announce who is our ANN Sun and Fun 2021 MVP. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. a and Sun and Fun 2021 MVP, Maria Morrison. Covering an event size and importance of Sun and Fun 2021 is not an easy thing to do and takes staffers' exceptional professionalism, expertise, and work ethic. The whole staff who put together Sudden Fun Digital Daily were exceptional this year. But one of our favorites really stepped up. And during the middle of a college semester to earn our MVP for Sudden Fun 2021, Maria Morrison, who started with us as a youth correspondent at Oshkosh when she was barely 18 nearly a decade ago, really won our admiration this year and was without a doubt our ANN Sudden Fun 2021 MVP this year. The Pipistrelle Panthera made its first public appearance at a major American air show while at Sun and Fun 2021. 
the 200 knot speedster with more curves than a geometry quiz is starting to build a following in the U.S. with several sales for the experimental versions already booked and plenty of interest in the certified version, which is expected a few years hence and a little longer than hope to certification delays created by COVID issues. The Panthera is expected to make it to Oshkosh 2021 as well. Zephyr Helicopter offers emergency recovery chute. Cardia Aerospace started chatting up the sport aviation community about the forthcoming Zephyr helicopter, a two-place side-by-side light single helo with an emergency parachute recovery system if all goes for naught. Stunningly good looks and a 100 mile per hour cruise speed will attract much attention for the small PBS TS-100 turbine-powered helicopter pushing 241 horsepower and which also has a parachute recovery system enclosed in a housing at the top of the main rotor mast. It's intriguing, and we can't wait to fly it. True Blue Power ups its game, most powerful lithium-ion battery yet. True Blue Power has added a 60 amp hour lithium ion battery to its Gen 5 product line. The TB60 saves up to 50 pounds per battery, significantly reducing aircraft empty weight and increasing useful load. It is ideal for use in rugged environments and outperforms all other aircraft batteries in extreme temperatures from minus 40 Celsius to 70 Celsius. Better yet, it reportedly weighs 55% less than competitive products. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Monday, NASA's Ingenuity Mars helicopter became the first aircraft in history to make a powered control flight on another planet. The Ingenuity team at JPL confirmed the flight succeeded after receiving data from the helicopter via NASA's Perseverance Mars rover at 6.46. Ingenuity is the latest in a long and storied tradition of NASA's projects achieving a space exploration goal once thought impossible, said acting NASA Administrator Steve Jersick. The solar-powered helicopter first became airborne around 334, a time that Ingenuity team determined would have optimal energy and flight conditions. Ultimator data indicate Ingenuity climbed to its prescribed maximum altitude of 10 feet and maintained a stable hover for 30 seconds. It then descended, touching back down on the surface of Mars after logging a total of 39.1 seconds of flight. Additional details on the test are expected in upcoming downlinks. Ingenuity's initial flight demonstration was autonomous, piloted by onboard guidance, navigation, and control systems running algorithms developed by the team at JPL. Because data must be sent to and returned from the Red Planet over hundreds of millions of miles using orbiting satellites and NASA's deep space network, Ingenuity cannot be flown with a joystick, and its flight was not observable from Earth in real time. After these messages, NX Cub defies skeptics, and our publisher tests out the aircraft for himself. The complete story after the break. I remember developing A20 and thinking, is this as good as it can be? Can I make it better? That drives a desire to truly make innovations and capabilities that people haven't even thought of, and really look for something that's new, different, and better. You can't have the mindset that it's impossible to make it better. If you're already at that mindset, you might as well go home. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. We're especially happy to say that we're getting ready to go to Sun and Fun. And to help even more people celebrate Sun and Fun, you can receive 21% off any King Schools course from right now through April 22nd. Just go to our website, kingschools.com, and use the code AIRSHOW. 
Sarasota Avionics and Maintenance was founded on the principles of providing superior service and customer support at a competitive price. Our numerous FAA and Annex certified repair stations offer a full array of avionics servicing and aircraft maintenance capabilities. After almost 40 years at the forefront of general aviation, we're proud to offer the best technicians and maintenance professionals around, and our experienced staff is ready to assist you with whatever you may need for your aircraft. Welcome back. There is no secret that ANN's Jim Campbell will always find a way to fly a new aircraft. So he checks out the NX Cub. ANN's Jim Campbell will be among the first to tell you that he is an unrepentant tail dragger aficionado. So much so that when the Cub crafters announce a newswheel version of their heretofore positively reviewed X Cub, he really had little interest in the project. Advanced buzz, though, was intriguing, and he decided to give it a try. During Sun and Fun 2021, Jim climbed aboard an NX Cub at South Lakeland Airport early Saturday on a drizzly overcast morning with Cub crafters Brad Dom and three-quarter fuel and was blown away. There's more of a review to come, but Jim notes the following. The acid test of this aircraft was to come in with a somewhat high alpha approach, hit the deck, and slam on the brakes in the wet grass after a 50 plus knot short final with full flaps. I was encouraged to lock up the brakes and I did. Directional control was easy, despite the slippery surface, and we came to a shuddering wheel locked finish in less than 200 feet. If that had been a tail dragger, we had been on our backs and not too happy about it. In the manners this bird showed throughout the flight and even into the skidding touchdown were truly outstanding. I want to fly this beast again soon, he notes. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.